Hi, this is Anjan. I am director with Empiricon Solar, and we are collaborating with MySolarHome.us on a series of videos on solar panels for homes. And this particular one for solar panels on commercial buildings. So this is all about commercial solar panels. Now, commercial solar panels are normally installed on businesses. And businesses could be large office buildings with a large parking lot. And in such a kind of install, we put solar canopies. They're also known as solar carports. For smaller businesses like a gas station or a strip mall, the solar panels are installed on the flat roofs of those buildings. This could be true for office buildings too. All installations on flat roofs are using a system of installation known as ballasted system. What that means is that the solar panels do not penetrate the roof structure. This is very good for the roof because the panels are placed on a racking system which is held down by cinder blocks. Your existing roof doesn't get impacted, there are no penetrations, and this is good news for the value of your building as well as for the life of your roof. Of course, the traditional roofs with shingles have traditional solar installs as you can see in these pictures. And finally, we could even do ground mounts if you've got large grounds adjacent to your office buildings. So, there are two ways in which you can get commercial solar panels. One is through an operating lease. This is a nine-year program. This program involves no out-of-pocket for the business. It involves lease payments every month, but the way these are structured, you actually end up earning money every month. Your lease payments are more than offset by your savings from solar and from your savings from other incentives. As you will see later, it's almost like you're being paid to go solar. A nine-year program, payments every month, but you earn more than what you pay. Let's get started and let's look at a small business like a store or a gas station. And let's assume that we're talking about a monthly bill of about $1,500. Now, once we install solar panels, the electric bill is gonna go down to about $300 a month. Some of you might ask, why doesn't it go down to zero? And the reason is that all commercial installs and all commercial electric bills have certain surcharges related to demand, which cannot be offset by solar. In fact, if you consume zero electric during the month, you will still get those charges. So these are charges with the power company attributes to you for the infrastructure that they have built for you. So this is not like homes. In a home, your, your electric bill put, could potentially go down to zero. So if you have a $200 bill, you could end up with a zero electric bill after solar. But for a commercial building, $1,500 bill, for example, at the max could go down to 200 bucks. Here, it's, I've assumed uh, that we'll go down to about 300 a month. So that's an easy saving, $1,200 a month, 1,500 minus 300. Now on top of that, you have solar incentives. For example, in Jersey, in Pennsylvania, you have something known as solar renewable energy credit. What these solar renewable energy credits do is they're like stock certificates, which the state gives you and you're able to sell them in the market. For example, a small business could potentially earn up to $1,400 a month from these solar energy certificates. As you can imagine, saving 1,200 from your electric, 1400 from your SREX, you end up with a total savings of 2600 per month. So now let's get to what you have to pay to get this lease program. So your monthly lease payment is about 1300 a month. So you, it's a little lower than your electric bill. But remember, once you go solar, you have your lease payments of 1300 a month, but you're going to save 1200 every month on your electric bill, plus you're earning another $1,400 from your SREX every month. Net net, you actually end up saving $1,300 every month. That's like being paid to go solar. From a $1,500 a month average bill for electric, you're down to earning $1,300 every month from your solar system. That is the nine-year operating lease program. Now, these numbers are for New Jersey and Pennsylvania, and the incentives might be a little different for your state, but we'd be happy to respond to your inquiries. My email and phone number are there at the end of this presentation and also down in the uh, comment section below. So that's option number one, the lease. This is a nine year program. After nine years, the solar system is yours. You have no more lease payments. So during the first nine years, you actually earn money every month and you build equity into your solar system. And after nine years, the system is yours. You will continue to earn from your electric savings and as long as the SREX are there, you'll earn money from the SREX as well. 
and you will have another 20 to 25 years more of savings. The commercial lease is, in our opinion, the best program going for commercial solar. No out of pocket, lease payments are more than matched by your savings and incentives. You earn money every month, you build equity for your building, and in nine years you're out. Of course, this might not be right for you if you're looking at owning your solar system. The numbers for owning the same system, let's assume you're the same business, instead of doing the lease, you want to look at the option of buying the system. A system that will support about $1,500 a month will cost you about $210,000. And for those of you who are interested in the actual size of the system, that's about 100 kW. And that's at a price of $2.10 per watt. So 100 kW or 100,000 watts into $2.10, which is the price per watt, and you come to your $210,000 price. Now, as the owner of a solar system, you get a bunch of incentives. One is a 30% tax credit. So 30% of the $210,000, which is $63,000, is going to come off your business taxes. So that is money in your pocket. On top of that, as a business, you're able to claim depreciation. Fortunately, the federal government allows 100% depreciation to be claimed in the first year itself. This is through an accelerated depreciation program for solar. So assuming your system costs $210,000, you're able to depreciate 85% of the cost of the solar system, or $178,500 can go as a depreciation expense in your profit and loss account for the year. With that big an expense in your account, your tax bill will go down. I have assumed a conservative tax rate of about 20%. And with that tax rate, if you have 100% depreciation, you will save another $42,000 on taxes. Between your $63,000 and your $42,000, you've saved $105,000 off your solar system. Your net out of pocket is just 105,000 now, 210 minus your 63,000 minus 42,000. Net net, you will still continue to save $1,500 a month on electric. You will earn 2,200 a month on SREX. In total, 1,500 plus 2,200, that makes a total savings every month of 3,700 per month. Now your out of pocket is 105,000. Now, if you divide that 105,000 by the 3,700 that you earn back every month, you got a payback period of just 29 months. Solar in New Jersey and Pennsylvania is an excellent investment. So between these two programs, the nine-year lease or purchase, you have two options which make great sense. My email address and phone number are here for you to see. Call us, email us, and we'd be happy to respond to your inquiries Solar is a wonderful investment, but the incentives are running out fast. If you want to do this quickly, if you want to be paid to go solar, reach out to us. Thank you. Have a great day.